this stuff. Right, now I want, you have set something up tonight yes. that is a bit of a world first. We're very excited about this. Yes. Uh, and I th don't tell us too much about it. Just make it happen and we'll hear okay. the audience in here go, woo, Will, if it works. Will, uh, are you there? Will? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't see. Oh, there is Will. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing, right. guys? Hey, Will, Will, how are you doing? From Australia. Now, I think that definitely deserved that round of applause. Let's just take stop of what we are seeing, what we've just seen here. This is Will, who is he's live from Australia. This is a holographic phone call, and we think it's about the first time it's been done, certainly on the stage. It's not about the first time. It is the first time that it's ever been done. So what we're doing here is we have a, a three-dimensional camera in our studio, in our office in Adelaide, based out of Flinders University in South Australia. We're capturing Will with a special camera. It's actually the camera you get with the old Xbox One. It's a depth camera that can see distance and color. We're slicing Will up into lots of slices. Ow. <laughs> and then we're sending those slices through super fast internet all the way from London to here via server in the cloud. And then we're re-slicing them, projecting them slice by slice onto the screen with exact timing so that we're effectively 3D printing Will right. and having a conversation with okay. him. Okay. Well, let's hear from Will, and then we'll go to Bill. It's real, and it's actually happening. And that's, right. That's it's, well, there we are. So this is my R2-D2 Princess Leia moment. Um, uh, so, um, Ghislaine Boddington watching this, what do you make of what you're well, seeing with this holographic I'm really call? excited. It's fantastic to see this real-time hologram. It takes what I was saying about streaming between families to a whole new level, and when this comes through into phones and into screens, and just the fact that there's no equipment on the body, no wearables, no headset, this is actually a chance to start to look at this teleportation really isn't it I'd just like to finish by saying it's it's ironic I think that we've been working on the holographic technology for 10 years and now we decide to display it on the radio yes <laughs> I just I love that <laughs> yeah there you go yeah you can imagine how that went down in our planning meeting when we said right so what have we got for that radio theater show yeah we've got about the most visual story we've ever done and 